funny God Slayer title. Which I um, put a bunch of work into getting, but you know, it is what it is. Make sure we kill all the enemies at the beginning to get all these uh, spawns as fast as possible. You get so many legendary engrams from doing these runs, it's kind of crazy. My invent fills up so fast with the random jump. what this dungeon's obsession with throwing shriekers at you is, but there's a good two in this opening sequence. Perfect timing, a bit slow, but... Okay, that's bad. We'll keep going, you never know what we, we might get. If we get really good RNG in the boss, we can save a good, like, four minutes with the two phase. Um, tempted to do runs on Hunter for this. For the better damage rotations. And I'm also tempted to do a different dungeon. Diet, as it should be. Of course the knight gets directly in my way when I'm trying to world skate to the door. Because why wouldn't it? Okay, we need a finder brick from Trinity Ghoul. Hopefully one of these enemies that I kill here will drop one. Wizard's too far away, not gonna kill it. I actually don't need to find a brick because I didn't skate there. So I can skate here instead. Why is he not there? This guy has so much health. Riding the uh, the ball there for a second, and we have enough sword ammo. Technically, I only need like eight, but I'm consistently using ammo on my skates for this sword, so it's a bit worse. All right, swapping to my cataphract loadout. as many kills as possible with Trinity Ghoul before switching to a better loadout to kill the knights. I have my... And I've got enough heavy bricks. You can see I've got four natural heavy bricks in this one room. Damage is going to be free. We just have to make sure the sun braces proc correctly. We 
don't need to get any Teagle kills now. Just keep our abilities and kill the Knights. The Knights are going to give us six moats, and that's exactly what we need. We have 14 in the Cataphract. We're going to need some Thrall to get an Orb for the Armor Charge bonus. And look at that, we have so much heavy. Damage phase is going to be pretty bad as we don't have a second debuff ability. We're going to just try our best here. Getting exactly half isn't terrible for a damage phase like that. We'll take it. We're gonna use a bit of heavy there just to weaken him as we have so much. As we don't need any heavy, we can get some racer kills here, we don't need to properly find us. Make sure we grab all of our heavy though. Alright, our heavy numbers should be looking fantastic. Okay, now we want to overflow our mag. So some Teagle kills will help with that. Now we gotta try and make sure we proc some braces on the boss here to extend our debuff range. Or just have enough to debuff. Switch back to our movement loadout. Quick scan for heavy breaks as we run to the door. Alright, only five on the sword, so we need to be somewhat conservative as we need two at the end. So we'll use one here to get to the switch faster. Now, the new Sparrow change makes it really possible to do this without grabbing any mines, as when you're touching the floor, your uh, Sparrow charges come back. So instead of just holding it, you just press it every like two seconds for the increase in speed. The only mines I'm going to be grabbing are the ones literally in my way that I can't avoid. I'm just going to hold it until I touch the ground. Slow down to make sure the mine procs. Now we're going straight to the end. Getting my Trinity Ghoul kill for later. Now that was a bit slow as the music ended early. We're gonna proc a heat rises to get a second Icarus dash. We're gonna use our Phoenix dive to get to the ground early. Hope 
hopefully heat rises last long enough to grab an extension of it so we can hit our first well skate. And we're starting bottom right. Playing it nice and close, of course, wouldn't have it any other way. when they spawn. Gotta get the Scorch Cannon ready for later. Then grab that moat. Alright, we'll start depoting. There's gotta be enough moats in here, surely. this top right getting a heavy brick there is quite nice as we use our sword ammo on the skates got myself a radium prop alright we're going to be waiting for a second set of ads to spawn here now for the extra moats. Gonna grab that one, depot a couple while we wait. So we are on 21. So we've depoted almost enough. So we need to depot something like seven more. Which is quite easy to do, really. Seven more, we have almost enough for the next. Try and extend our timer. And we, you can see where we are, we are up top. Which is one of the worst of places we can be, really, but what are you going to do about it? Should we grab a moat so we don't die? Right, now we're looking for the enemies to get some more moats, as we did before. I'm not actually going to get moats though, to take with me, um, as we are up top and we need to go all the way to the bottom of the map. So I'll grab what's ever here, but I'm not going to put pressure on myself. Where is Mr. Scorch Cannon? We can actually grab a lot of moats here. We don't need that many, we only need like 10. And we're only gonna get 10. You can actually see where it is all the way from over here, it's on the far side. So we're just gonna land and skate across. Touch the ground nice and early to get our camera back to where we want it. And grab 10 more moats. Careful with the Scorch Cannon guys, keep shooting the launchers. Alright, we don't need any more moats, we're just gonna kill all these enemies. And of course, I missed my shot that I need to hit. Now, 
would be really nice if the Scorch Cannon guy would run away from me. And then die to the Engrahams. But what can you do? Our burden timer will disappear when the encounter ends. And then we're just gonna fly to the middle using the same Scorch Cannon. And up we go to boss encounter. Into the ball. We're gonna well switch to our damage and switch to strand. We're gonna try and make him stomp. gonna super the shank and then run away. Immediately trying to get some heavy ammo off the kills and looking for Mr. Scorch Cannon. And we're just gonna use our strand super to get rid of the shank and then switch straight back. Tangle we got there is in a pretty bad spot, I'm afraid. As you can see, the shank is almost dead, just not quite. So we're gonna pick up all of our moats here. Wasted the grapple, really. Try and grabbing as many moats as possible. See, the shank is literally one HP, which is good. Switching back to some braces now that we've done what we need. We only need six moats over here, so I'm really hoping we can grab them. We cannot. Uh, we will well just for the safety. Drop the scorch as we're now ready for damage. Rises for the health, and then we'll proc Resto when we need to. Which is probably now. We'll save a nade. Proc the bait and switch Trinity Eagle that we need to proc. And just keep shooting the boss really, nothing special. I might do a little bit of strafing around in the well to stay alive. But we got exactly half without a good Sunbracer loadout. Just using our heavy and switching back to Strand. Using our Trinity Eagle to try and get me some orbs. And now it's all about killing the shank and getting to boss damage again. Trusting warlock jump to not screw us over. Hold that for a little bit, mainly because I want to super as soon as the shank moves out of my way. Typical. Using the grapple as well for just the enhanced movement. Right now, we've been pretty unlucky with our strand supers. The shank is still two thirds of his health, but we have time. Again, not really taking that much damage. I'm gonna put our we actually missed out, that's not very good. Just use the healing rift. A 
Okay, and switch back. Shank is dead. The question is, what about our cataphract? We really need one more orb, but we're not gonna get that, I'm afraid. Not gonna get the orb, we're gonna be out of armor charges. Gonna proc our heat rises. Oh, we can go get our orb. Can actually get two orbs here. But we're not gonna be able to grab the second orb as we have a timer to worry about. We can now not leave our prop resto. We know where our dregs are. And we missed. We're probably three phasing now that we missed our sun braces. It's unfortunate. I think sun braces really would have done this. That is terrible. I mean, we're just chilling. No reason to rush. We should have two phased. Ah, there's so much time save if we two phase. Any heavy brick? Yeah, we got one. Where is Mr. Man? Using the heavy, just. So, so we needed surges and sun braces. So we're not going to worry about the shank now. Gonna just do a normal cycle. Use our solar nade as health on demand. Gonna grab 10 modes from this guy. Try and even out the mode count. Just keep moving, don't let don't stop for a long time, and if you stop, stop behind cover. Just gonna shoot this cannon real nice and fast. Get rid of our cannon, we don't need it anymore, we just need six moats. And it's damage. And we're just gonna go straight there. Proc our healing. Resto. And well, we're close enough to damage. Get some braces. Put them down early. Save a nade. Not that we need to. And the boss will die right now. We're going to swap to a bait and switch sniper as we just shot heavy. We can stop getting flinched. And that's a 2351 without a two phase with commentary. That went surprisingly well. Uh, pulling up the screen did 4.7 mil damage to the boss. And that adds another one to our now 13 solo flawlesses of Grasp of Avarice. Uh, in terms of loadouts, our movement tech loadout was a simple Warlock Heat Rises Icarus Dash with T-Steps using the Slammer with Eager Edge and Cold Steel and Trinity Ghoul. And our damage loadout was a Sunbracer Warlock with Touch of Flame, Heat Rises, and Solar Grenade using two Strand Surges and these mods. And the weapons were Mountain Top with Auto Loading Recombination, Trinity Ghoul, and Cataphract with Envious and Bait and Switch. If you don't have a Cataphract, the new Edge Transit does just as well, if not better. Uh, and when we don't have any more Heavy, we switch to a Rewind Rounds Bait and Switch Supremacy or a Rewind Rounds Kinetic Tremor Supremacy. 
And that's how you do Solar Flawless Grasp of Avarice.